At first, I created a glass wall bordered by iron blocks to create a barrier between the tendrils and the rest of the cave, which will end up failing. Then I made gashes into the stone that were caused by fictional workers that constructed this support structure, but I'm actually thinking about replacing those gashes with stalactites. I had a lot of fun with this one, even though I suck with interior decoration. I created the structure for the build, made a cool elevator, and decided to make the floors glass. As you can see, my color palette was very white because it gives sciency futuristic vibes. In a later part, this lab won't look as pristine when the tendrils break into it. The first floor is supposed to be a research area where they document things, experiment on a piece of crying obsidian that represents a part of the tendrils, and use a weird looking computer that I built. The next floor was the cafeteria with plenty of seating, a place to get food, trays, and hoppers to dispose trash. Third floor was a dormitory with bunk beds. I started on the last floor, which was storage for bottles that represented vials and flasks, plus pickaxes to dissect crying obsidian. Then I made a bathroom and copied the build over to the other side. 